Welcome back, my friends, to Wild Arms. Last time, remember? Well, we've got Asgard, the Tower of the God, namely the Golem. And, well, there's some things we have to do with Asgard, even if it's for a short time. So what we're going to do is load up our save like so, and go to Saint Centaur. Oh, by the way, I also did a, I did also did a save here at the next place that we're going to. So, um, I might just resave over, but we're going to do everything properly this time. So let's go in, shall we? So we're going to sail back right over here, back to Asgard, and we're actually going to go over here, and this is where the photosphere, the photosphere is. Now we can't go to the photosphere right now, because as you can tell, it is, when we go up here, it's shielded. So we can't go and deal with the false spirit yet. So actually, this is where Court Same is, which is our next town. Where we're going to the next um, dungeon. I do believe there's another dungeon up here. Besides the photosphere. like so. We'd find a little shop here. This is where you can find like mainly a lot of status um status um notification notificationers like the Moonstone, which nullifies poison, an olive branch with poison knight, nullifies disease, silver harp, nullifies silence, blue, cir blue circlet, nullifies paralysis, clear charm, nullifies confusion, memoirs pink, nullifies forgetfulness, angel's quill, nullifies bad omen, and sunglasses, nullify flash. But believe me when I say this, but the Photosphere is not the final dungeon of the game. One might think it is, but we're, no, we're nowhere near that area. But 
here is where we need to go to, which is the Sacred Shrine. Why? Because there are a lot of hidden stuff we can find here. The barrier will prevent the demons from entering. So that means there are a lot of items we can find in here. And that's why we're in here, and that's for a, du a duplicator door. And that's for the duplicator, I should say. So we're actually going in this area for a lot of nifty little things. So we find some Gela. Because Gela is always nice. Gela always nice. And over here we find a potion berry. There's a powerful seal that could withstand quite a powerful attack. It's something powerful, all right, because we can't open it. Now, what I was trying to do before this was, um... I was trying to work through the epitaph C... This epitaph C... C dungeon. And apparently, when I was working through it, I ran into a glitch and I couldn't do the dungeon. And basically, the glitch was there was no background. And with that, you know, there was no you know, movement afterwards. Which I found just totally weird. Down here. Needs a duplicator. find a secret book. And this is better than the mystic word, so we'll just take the secret book like so. I think there's a crest graft in here as well.
Oh, let me see something here. Yeah. I think I might have missed a few. Give me a hot second here. Alright, so I think I have a duplicator for that door I couldn't open. I do. So, find a crest craft, a potion berry, magic carrot, or five fruit, and a secret sign. for this is um check for this let me take this one I'll only use one hand You say, all right. Let's at least take off that. Potion bears out of that. That was too easy. Fast draw. So yeah, we do get a fast draw hint for our efforts. And that was technically it. That, that was all we needed to do. So those two duplicates, totally necessary. And since we're done here. We can actually go to... Um, The next town over, which is right here, court scene. So let's get ourselves fully purified. Since we got a little more than we need, well, it's good that we get a little bit more. Now, 
Now, since we are here, let's use our radar like so. Because there are a couple of items we need to find here before we progress through the story a little bit more. There's an item right here, a mystic apple. There are only three. One is right around here. It's the other one, an agile apple. So the only thing, so above this town, it belongs to one of the six Meisters of Arms. And we've met his daughter. So let's go to the only reason why we're actually here. Let's go over to um, the Meister's house and go speak with him. I'm Nikolai Maxwell. I'm the arms Meister in this tiny village. Long ago, I was one of the six who studied at the old man's lab. The Zephyr Rough Knight Laboratory led in the study of ancient te technology. And you? Rudy Rough Knight. What? Rudy Rough Knight?! You're the old man's grandchild! Sorry, we used to call Meister Zephyr the old man. How is he? It's been close to 15 years. Rudy starts to talk about his dream chaser days before he met Jack and Cecilia. Zephyr Rough Knight. He thought of Zephyr as father. He thought of Zephyr as his father. He was an old dream chaser who had raised Rudy since infancy. During their travels, Seven taught Rudy the life of a dream chaser. But most importantly, he gave Rudy a heart. A heart to protect the ones he loved. One day, the inevitable happened. The old man's traveling days came to an end. Rudy was now tasting the true meaning of being alone. of the old dream chaser on a hill that the old man was fond of. The rest is history. I'm sorry to hear that. He was... <clears throat> That's quite an arm you got there. You know how to use it properly. I guess the arm would not 
to synchronize with you if you didn't know how. My daughter Jane is also capable of synchronizing with Nam, but not as nearly powerful as what you have here. Papa, I'm home! What are you guys doing in my house? Jane, do you know these people? I just met them a little while ago. Why are you such a hurry? I'll be upstairs. Please make yourself at home. Jane's a good daughter. It's because of her that I can keep the orphanage running. Go to the southeast and cross the shallow water. There you'll find the epitaph of the sea wind. It is an uncompleted tower we used to we used in the research of a flight machine. The research Meister Zephyr and myself left behind maybe junk to some, but you might find a use for some of it. Take this key. May look funky, but it will get you inside. Many of Zephyr's belongings from before Rudy was born are still there. Well, before we actually leave, let's do a little bit of modding. Like say this rocket launcher, let's let's upgrade that. Yeah. See, how much would it cost me to boost my ATP? Nope. How much for that? Okay. Can't upgrade anymore. That's going to be my, bro my, my most broken ass weapon right there. Well, that until I get, um, um, I think it's called Arc Smash? Arc Smash or Wild Bunch? I don't, I wanted to, I, for I forget which, which it is, but it is the strongest arm you can possibly get. So, like I said, that, I basically call that my boss killer right there because the damage output it gives is enough to kill a boss. Or at least, you know, wipe it clean off the map. Make, make it a short and simple fight. Sup, my don't. Thank you for what you have done for my mistress. We will be holding a humble banquet on your behalf. The mistress is waiting for you. I hope you have a good time. In the remake for the PS2, McDonald's is revealed to be a female. Also playable. Hey, you didn't tell my boss that I'm Calamity Jane, did you? I'll never forgive you if you gave if you gave him even the slice hand. We weren't talking about you. So I think we made some decent progress here, so... Number one. So 
So I think now's a good time to stop here. And in the next part, we're going to take on the epitaph of the sea wind. When Wild Arms returns right after this. <laughs>